Welcome to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you would like to know the price, simply click on the link in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch at JazzTime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual 31 with a black dial oyster bracelet stainless steel. Reference 177200. I'm going to talk to you guys about the bezel, the dial, the case, the movement, try it on, and give you my thoughts. Let's dive right in. This is an oyster perpetual, which means it does not have a date. There's no date at the three o'clock position like other watches that Rolex makes, such as Date Just. Hence the name Oyster Perpetual without the day chest. It has a 31 millimeter case diameter, from, that's my thumb to my index finger, to give you a little reference. Uh, Rolex makes 26, I believe 26, 28, and 31, 36, and 39 millimeter Oyster Perpetuals. So this is uh, definitely one of the smaller, uh, it's actually considered mid size. Most women can either wear, I think it's a 26 or 28, that would be the small, and this mid size would be a 31. A large would be, oh, actually, I think they also make it in 34. Oh, dang, sorry. They also make it in 34 millimeters. So 31, 34, 34 would be like a large for a woman, 31 would be a medium, and a 28, or is it 26? I forgot, uh, would be. A small so like a small medium large for women and they all make it in stainless steel they don't make per oyster perpetuals in anything else other than steel uh, because it's their base model and it's also cost their base price because the, the, the retail price on these watches are only five thousand dollars so you know anyways so that's the um, so it's in, they're all in steel it's 31 millimeter midsize that's what you're looking at here let's talk about the um, the bezel here, the bezel is a domed bezel. They only make the Oyster Perpetual with this dome bezel. They don't make the fluted bezel uh, because it's, as I said, it's their base model, which still pretty looks good. You know, uh, some people think, oh, it's a base model, I don't wanna buy it, it's too cheap. Well, really, $5,000 is cheap? No, of course not. It's $5,000 is still you know, a good chunk of change. And you know what? Um, I could wear any watch that I want, and you know, my wife could wear any watch that she wants, but her daily wear is actually an Oyster Perpetual, and I'll tell you why. Because it has this real simple dome bezel, stainless steel. It does; it's not going to scratch, and you know, it's something that you could wear around the house. Now, she doesn't wear it with this steel strap. She actually wears it on a rubber strap. Um, so you can buy those. You know, uh, you can buy those aftermarket. But yeah, it. There's nothing wrong with a, a cheaper watch. In fact, not even nothing wrong. It's a, a very, very good daily wearer. So this 31 millimeter is actually can fit that bill for many, for many people. And that's actually why it's one of their very most popular uh, models because of the price. Because of uh, you still get all the same Rolex quality, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so that's I talked to you about the case 31, the the bezel, and obviously I don't need to say much about this dial. It's black and it has index markers. I'll show you what it looks like under a UV light. That's what it would look like if you shine the light on it at nighttime, or sorry, if it charged at night and then uh, shined at, at night. Shined with light and then charged at Anyways, you get what I'm saying. So that's what it looks like at night. So let's talk about the bracelet now. The bra bracelet is an oyster bracelet. It has three flat piece links across. It's made of oyster steel. Okay, I take that back. Uh, it does not have a five millimeter comfort extension, but it's a small watch. So I'm not sure that you even really need it because look how small the watch is. There's no comfort extension. Comfort extension means that you could adjust it five millimeters each way. Well, it's the base model, so you know what do you expect, right? If you want the five millimeter comfort extension, go buy a Datejust. It still has a very nice buckle. It still feels very high quality, as you can see here. It has a power reserve of 48 hours. How's that? Okay. All right. Well, anyways, th those are my, so now on to my thoughts. I think I kind of told you my thoughts as we were, we were going along. Now I'm a man. I'm wearing this, but you know it still fits me. Uh, of course, it's a little small on me because I have a bigger wrist than a woman. But you know, 31 millimeter. It's still a darn good looking watch. It's very robust, stainless steel. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you this part right here. You look at this. It's I'm rubbing my finger over. It. It's actually going inward, not outward. Now on the Datejust, it goes outward. You know what? If you look at it, it's, it's completely smooth. It's actually indented inward. Why is that good? Well, if you're gonna wear this every day in that 
uh, crown is sticking up, that crown can either get worn or damaged. In this way, it doesn't get worn or damaged because it, it's actually going inward. It's actually a really genius idea. I don't know why they don't in implement this on, on other models. They do so on the Oyster Perpetual uh, and it, it, it works out really well. It actually looks good too. So okay, anyways, here are my thoughts. You know, if you want a base model, and, or let's say you're just trying out Rolex, you know, you don't want to go balls to the wall and spend 10 grand on it. Well, you know, you can start out with a $5,000 watch. And actually, you probably could even get it cheaper on jazztime.com, J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com. Now, it's also good for those people who already have a nice watch. For example, my wife has a Patek Nautilus with diamonds. Um, it's the pretty much king of the heap, but you know what? She doesn't wear that every day. What are you gonna do? Wear that when you're washing dishes? Fifty thousand dollar watch? Are you kidding me? No, you're gonna wear that when you go out to you know something special. But on your daily wear, when you're walking the dog, you know, taking a dump, you know, cooking food, whatever the hell you're doing, you want to wear something easy, like a stainless steel watch. How about a stainless steel watch from Jazz Time, for the lowest price anywhere online? Go to jaztime.com and get it. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.